Ok guys, part 2 now. When you install it, you also need to update the plugin as well when the update is available. So, Alexander will now show us how you can update the plugin when there is a new version to do it. So, um, Ok guys, you can check out the uh, auto and manual update procedures on our documentation. Um, we'll show you both in this video. So when you go to plugins, um, it will show here that there's a new version available and that we need to activate the plugin in WP Data Table settings in order to update the plugin. So you copy the purchase code from your store and paste it in here. Make okay. sure there's no, there are no spaces in here because if you add an accidental space, it might save it. And when uh, WordPress is trying to validate the purchase, uh, the URL in the in the um, API will break and it will not be able to update your plugin. Okay. Also for Envato users, there is that button. So yep. you just need to be logged in to your Envato account. So the purchase code will be get it from there. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So now when we click on activate, we can go back to the plugin section and refresh. Now this is a brand new uh, WordPress install. I haven't done anything to configure it. So automatic update is unavailable for this plugin, even though it is enabled, but I have, I would need to modify my WordPress installation. But anyway, if you guys see this, you can go to dashboard updates. You will see the update in there and just select the plugin and uh, update it from there. Now it went away again. So just click on check again, select the plugin and click on update plugins. Um, it's doing this in maintenance mode as, as you can see. So there is a small chance that it'll break. Um, okay, so inconsistent file permissions. This is something that can happen to you as well. Uh, on a local installation, you would need to um, add something like this. So um, let me just write it down. I'm adding all permissions. You're not supposed to add all permissions for your uh, website. Uh, that can cause some issues. So oh, bad command. Okay, here it goes. Um, all right, so let's try again. From updates, select the plugin, click on update plugins, and it's going into maintenance mode again. So now WP data tables updated successfully, disabling maintenance mode. So here you can see uh, the, the error that might come up if you don't have read write permissions on your website. So okay. if you guys run into that, if you're using localhost, you can do what I did. So just enable all permissions. But if you're working on a live website, reach out to your hosting provider and ask them to um, enable these permissions so you can update the plugin. But in most cases, the hosting provider already, uh, already has that. Yeah. yeah. So uh, when you guys come in here, you will see that the update is available and you can simply click on update right here and the plugin will automatically update. Again, if you have any issues, go to dashboard updates and you can update it from there. If that also fails, you can update the plugin manually. So now we will um, install a later version. So, okay, in here, we'll reinstall version 3.4.4. So in the plugin section, just delete the current installation. Um, when you delete the folder, your files are still in your database and you don't have to worry about your tables. They're still saved. As long as you don't delete the plugin from here, you're good. But even if you want to do that, I'll show you that in a, in a minute. If you want to delete the plugin from your website, uh, you just have to check that uh, you're not deleting database tables. NWP data tables settings. So here it is. Oh, those permissions actually work now for, work now for auto updates. So yeah, I, I configured my website real quick. Um, okay, so the plugin is active again. And I'll show you the delete 
option. So under under WP Data Table Settings, make sure that this checkbox is enabled. So prevent deleting tables in the database. If you want to delete the plugin completely, uncheck this and then delete it from here, and the plugin will be deleted. Um, so auto update can be done from here. Okay, now that it works, but we'll show you the manual update. Um, you download the latest version from the store. So just like what we did when In we installation. installed. Yeah. When you download the plugin, um, you can open that zip file and go to your plugins section. Again, delete the current installation, just like when we downgraded a minute ago, the same goes for the update. So delete the old folder, your files are safe, your tables are safe, and simply extract, drag, yeah. drag and drop this folder. And now when you go to the plugin section and refresh it, you will see 3.5 right here. And there it is. Okay, that's, that's the manual, the manual update. update. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty, pretty much, much it. Yeah. Guys, if you have any issues, it can happen sometimes to have issues when installing an updated plugin. So let us know in the comment section below. And we hope that this video helped you out. See you in another video and don't forget to like, share and, and subscribe. subscribe. Bye. Take care. Mm -hmm.